humans, I'm Yo Schiller, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Bata. All right, I guess we're just jumping straight into it. So, following the events of the previous battle, I transferred a bunch of my older Pokemon into this game thanks to the most recent Pokemon Sword and Shield update. However, after searching for a single battle, while I was victorious, I wasn't able to get all of my Pokemon a chance to shine. So now I'm finding another opponent, I'm going to compete with the same team that I used last time, and I'm going to hopefully give this team right here, Zoroark, Bufalant, Scizor, Miltank, Dragology, and Porygon Z, a chance to, well, chime. I apologize for the redundancy. The music's fine, the team's fine, we all should be good to go. Let's just see which Pokemon I can use, because last time, Dragology pretty much swept the entire opponent's team, and that's fine. I, you know, I'm, I'm okay with a Pokemon like Dragology defeating my opponent, Dragology's... Extremely underrated in my opinion, but I'm hoping to get different results this time whether I win or lose I just want to give my other Pokemon a shot at proving themselves. So here we go My opponent has Bisharp, Tyranitar, Rotom, Blastoise, Sheenotic, and Aegislash Okay, so mind you this is singles He he has like half a Sandstorm team and then maybe like half a Rain Dance team. That's interesting I mean if he's running Rain Dance, I don't, I don't know that he is but the the main threat on his team I think is probably the Age of Slash, but Zoroark can probably tear through that. So what I'm thinking is, I might start with Porygon Z. Because Porygon Z has a Choice Scarf, so it's going to be faster than everything there. And Porygon Z has Thunder Wave, which can paralyze anything on my opponent's team except for Rotom. After that, the order doesn't necessarily matter except for who's in the back. In which case, I'll put Dragology in the back. So that way, he might try to use a Psychic-type move on Dragology, and then it's like, Oh, whoops! It's a Zoroark! Yeah, here we go. All right! And then he's on the left side, so we're going to his arena, which I think is the ice arena? Or no, I think that's maybe the default arena? I need, I, I guess we'll see. I need a refresher on which... Alright, it's the default arena. Alright, that's fine, let's go! So he's starting out with glass cannon, okay. That's the Bisharp. Nice and shiny. Alright, well my Porygon Z should be faster than it, and it's also shiny! Oh, battle of the shinies! Okay, so we're gonna paralyze it. I doubt he's going to switch to Rotom, so I think using Thunder Wave is, is a safe bet. Mind you, I am Choice Scarped, so if he does switch to Rotom, I pretty much have to switch out. The Thunder Wave connects. Bisharp is paralyzed. Very good. Then I guess I can switch to a Pokemon that can proceed to finish this up. Stealth Rock is interesting. Hmm. Not used to a Stealth Rock on Bisharp, but I guess that works. None of my Pokemon are too negatively impacted by that, but it might make Zoroark have his identity revealed. But okay, what's a Pokemon that I don't think he'd deal much damage to? Maybe Miltank? Miltank has Earthquake. He probably has a dark move and a steel move. But would he have a fighting move? Maybe. That, that might be the fourth move he has. I guess we'll find out. He might have a ground move. Because generally, when you Dynamax these Pokemon, you want to run Dynamax ground move so you can boost your special defense. Oh, he does have a fighting move! No! Three of my Pokemon are fighting type, and one of them is a dark type. I'm in trouble! Well, Miltank should definitely be faster. Even if he wasn't paralyzed, my Miltank is a speedy cow. So we're gonna go for Milk Drink. I should be able to take another hit, and I'm gonna keep using Milk Drink until you're fully paralyzed for a turn. It should work out. So, doesn't quite put me back at full health, so he could stall me out if he keeps connecting all these Brick Breaks, which he might. We're okay. Actually, didn't that just put me right back to where I just was? Alright, then we're, we're, we're gonna keep doing this. Here we go. Milk Tank with Milk Drink! Signature move! Good. Alright, so there we go. Then I guess I'll be okay. There we go! Finally, fully paralyzed for a turn. Now I can get the Earthquake in there. That's what I'm talking about. Do I want a Dynamax? No, nah, not yet. He still has five Pokemon in the back. I'm sure my Dynamax will be better utilized, especially when that Aegis Slash comes out later on in this battle. Okay, so one more hit to take it out. All right, Brick Break's gonna hurt. Now, do I want to go and attack it, or do I want to heal myself? I think healing myself is smarter, so let's heal myself. All right. Come on, be fully paralyzed for another turn, and then I'll take you out, and I'll have a fully healed up cow. Yeah. You wouldn't, you wouldn't believe how fast this big old cow can be. It's, it's a little misleading. Whew, okay, hanging in there. I guess we're gonna go for, we're just gonna keep doing this until you're fully paralyzed again. It's a 25% chance every turn, I think. Let's see, so we got the milk drink again. We'll keep doing this. It's milk tank's time to shine. Look at all that milk. Look at all that milk. There we go. Drink it up. Get that vitamin D. Uh, okay. Hang it in there. I am restoring more health than the amount of damage he's dealing, so I should be okay. Let's just keep it going. Alright. Okay, he's he's dynamaxing. Alright, I guess he's just like, you know what? 
You know what, Miltank? I'm tired of you drinking all your milk! Just die already! But fine. I made you use up your Dynamax on a Pokemon that can still have a chance of being paralyzed this turn, and I will gladly take that. In any case, I guess I'm using Milk Drink this turn. I may or may not survive. If I do survive, I'll just go for Earthquake the next turn and take out this Dynamax Pokemon before it becomes a problem. Although all of my Pokemon on my team should be faster than it at this point, even Scizor. But let's see. So, Max Knuckle does connect, which means this next turn he would definitely KO me if I don't take him out now. Okay. Alright. Well... Major Dynamax, so that's a victory in my book. I should be faster. Unless you have, like, Sucker Punch. Well, you can't use Sucker Punch or Dynamax, so it doesn't matter. I'm safe right now. There are no Dynamax moves that give you priority. Thank goodness. As much as I'd love to use Milk Drink right now, I should just take you out. I've got five more Pokemon in the back to deal with. Okay. So. Shiny Bisharp, down. How much you want to bet that the Aegislash he has in the back is shiny, too? And or the Tyranitar. Those are the ones I would predict being shiny. But one Pokemon at a time, at least I don't have to worry about him Dynamaxing anymore, and I still have Dynamax on my side, so... Things are looking okay right now, even though Miltank's about to go down. But I took down a Pokemon that has a Fighting-type move. Yeah, having four Pokemon on my team weak to Fighting that can't do much about it, not the best, but these are just the six Pokemon I was able to transfer, so we'll roll with it. Alright, Tyranitar. I should be faster than you. It's just, do I want to go for Body Slam or Earthquake? I guess I should go for the Super Effect. Ah, uh, let's go for Body Slam, see if I can paralyze you. In case you're holding a weakness policy or something. Come on, Miltank, get that paralysis! Alright, not great. And no paralysis? No paralysis. Alright, well, a superpower. Kind of glad to see you use that, because that'll drop your attack and your defense stat, right? So, attack fell and defense fell. Perfect! Well, I've got some other physical attackers on my team. And you're holding a life orb. Okay, so I should have gone for Earthquake, but that's okay. I wanted to get that paralysis. Well, alright, let's give Scizor a chance to shine. My good old steel bug. Boom, baby. Okay. So, I should go for Bullet Punch. Even if he switches, there's... Oh, I can't use Pursuit anymore! Right. Okay. Well, even so, I'll go for... Ah, maybe... I would do more. Because Bullet Punch gets boosted thanks to my ability, but U-Turn allows me to switch for free in case he chooses to switch. So maybe U-Turn is the smartest move. Okay, now that I want to use Pursuit against the Tyranitar anyway. Oh, I didn't think he'd have Fire Punch. Doggone it. Did not see that coming. I don't know why I thought Scizor would be faster than Tyranitar either. Like, Tyranitar's not fast, but neither is Scizor. Oh, I thought I was smart with that U-turn. Fine, this Tyranitar is a bigger problem than I anticipated. Try this one on for size. So you've got Super Power, you've got Fire Punch, your other moves are probably Crunch and Stone Edge, or maybe you have Earthquake in, in place of one of those. But we'll find out. In any case, I got Grass Knot, baby. This should KO you. Special Grass-type move that deals more damage based on how heavy the opponent is, and Tyranitar is a big boy. There we go. But now, my Zoroark is locked into using Grass Knot, so that's a little troublesome. Unless he sends in Rotom next, I could be in trouble, and I doubt he's going to send in Rotom because he might still believe I'm actually using Dragology. So, I'm kind of hoping he doesn't send in Aegislash right now. I mean, I could Dynamax and blow off this Ruse. Dynamaxing allows me to use other types of moves, but I guess, I guess we'll see, huh? I forgot what he had. Mushy, that's right, he had a Sheena tick. Yeah, Grass Knot's not going to do much, and Dynamaxing against it isn't going to be my best use of my time. Okay. Yeah, Di like, I could go for Max Flare, but it's not going to matter. I don't think he benefits from having the Sand Stream up, so I'm going to use that against him. I just have to be careful switching because Stealth Rock is still in effect, but we'll go... We'll go with Bufalant. Bufalant could probably take a hit from it, and then I can always switch back into Zoroark afterward. So here we go. Come on, Wild Wings! Alright, Stealth Rock. Uh, maybe I won't be able to take a hit. That's right! I, I already forgot that my Bufalant has Sap Super. I remember just as he used the move and I saw the animation lag for a second. I That was not even planned. That was just, oh, which of my Pokemon can take a hit? Alright, great! Well, since he can't use Grass-type moves on me, and especially since he can't put me to sleep, I predict that he might switch. In any case, the best thing I can use right now is Head Charge, and I just have to hope that he doesn't switch to Aegislash. I'll get same type attack bonus that deals a ton of damage. And we'll be, we'll be golden. So here we go. What's your plan, Sheena Tick? Surprised to see a shiny one. I don't regularly fight Sheena Tick in the series, let alone shiny ones. So I, I respect that. I respect the fact that you and I are both using a combination of what might be considered to be conventional Pokemon and a few unconventional Pokemon. Like, I know Scizor is going to be especially common going forward. Blastoise! Love to see it! All right, let's see how much Head Charge does. I doubt it's a one-hit KO, but you never know. It is a one-hit KO! All right! 
That's what I'm talking about. Goodbye, Blastoise. So half, ooh, a lot of recoil damage, but that's okay. Sandstorm is down. Very good. So that leaves Rotom, Sheena, Tick, and Aegislash, right? Those are the last three. Because I took down Bisharp. I took down Blastoise. And I took down Tyranitar. So this is probably Rotom. Yeah, it is. All right. Let's just go for another head charge, then. Rotom might be faster. Buffalo might be faster. I don't know who's faster between the two, but okay, you're faster. And it doesn't connect! I actually kind of feel bad about that one. But all right, if I one-hit KO'd Blastoise, I can probably one-hit KO the Rotom. That's what I'm talking about! Good boy, Bufalant! Even on my team, Bufalant wasn't a Pokemon I used very often, but he's really shining here. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Sheenatic and Aegislash remain. I imagine Aegislash is coming in right now, which Bufalant won't be able to do much toward. Yeah, Mr. Blade. Shiny one. I knew it! I knew it'd be shiny! All right. Tyranitar wasn't shiny, though. Okay. Was it? No, I don't think it was. Whatever. All right, this time we're gonna send in the real Dragology. Ah, uh, no, we're not. We're gonna send in Porygon Z. Mmm. Dragology is specially defensive. Aegislash can be run either way. I've seen people run it physically or specially, but either way, I'm gonna switch in preparation of him maybe using a fighting type move. Even if he uses steel, it'll only do neutral damage, but let's see. King Shield, he's not even attacking this turn. All right, that's fine. Still can't tell if it's a physical attack or a special attacker yet. We're gonna go for Surf. Cause Sludge Bomb won't do anything. He'll resist Dragon Pulse. So we'll go for Surf. He's withdrawing it, that's fine. Sheenatic's about to come back in. Spore makes me a little nervous, but if I'm faster than it, I can... It's, it's Grass Fairy, right? So I can probably one hit KO it afterward. Yeah, he probably knew I wasn't going for a poison type move. No way I'd be able to prick that. Okay, that did a decent chunk of damage for him resisting it and for me not getting the same type of attack bonus. So if I use a poison type move right now, I should definitely KO it. It's just who's faster? Because Dragology, I don't think is that fast. He's just bulky. So let's see. If you're faster, your spore is going to connect with drawing. Okay, are you trying to stall me out at this point? You, okay, like you made the proper prediction that I was going to use a poison type move, but if you keep doing that, eventually I'm just going to wear you down and you're not going to be able to attack me. Granted, it's times like these that I wish that my Dragology had Black Sludge on instead of Assault Vest, but I mean, it, it's fine. It's fine. I still got plenty of Pokemon in the back. Alright, he's attacking this turn. Alright. What's your vibe, Age of Slash? What's your plan? Flash Cannon. Alright, so it is a special attacker, which means people will take that pretty well. Okay, there's the Thunderbolts. Let's see how much that does. All right, it brings him down to about half. I might need to use this two more times, but whatever. If he wants to switch, that's on him. But he's just gonna keep getting hit with chip damage, and with any luck, my Thunderbolt might paralyze something. Shadow Ball, okay. Yeah, that could lower my special defense. I'm okay, and I can take another one. Great. So who's gonna go down first, Dragology or Mr. Blade? Mr. Blade lives for another turn, okay. Let's get another Thunderbolt in there. All right. Take it like a pro, Dragology! Take it like a pro! You're a professional, Dragology! You're awesome! Shining once again! Alright, Aegis Slash is down. That only leaves Sheena Tick. But Sheena Tick's probably faster, and unfortunately, Dragology won't be able to take it out. But if Dragology is faster, then I'll take it out in one hit. So we'll see. I don't know how fast Sheena Tick is. I don't know how fast Dragology is. I think they're both kind of slow. Maybe they're both really slow, and I just don't remember. But whatever. I still respect the fact that you have a shiny one, sir. Definitely not a Pokemon that I see very often. I'm faster, and that should be a one-hit KO. Very good! Alright, so my fellow opponent who has a Sheena Tick named Mushi. I got a critical hit just to rub the salt in the wound. <laughs> kind of feel bad. He missed with Hydro Pump earlier, and I got a critical hit at the end. But alright, thank you for the battle! Well, at least between the previous battle and now, my team of six Pokemon here had a chance to shine. But now, going forward, I'm going to... Mix around my Pokemon, rotate them around, alternate between having some of my Pokemon that I recently transferred with some of the Pokemon that I've been using for the past 70 plus videos. So for now, that wraps up this video of Pokemon Ta, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope to see you on future videos. Bye bye, humans. <gasps> Whoosh. Hey, thank you for watching my video all the way to the end. If you want to show your support, one of the best things you can do is leave a comment down below. So if you have anything nice you want to say about the video, or if you have any questions, I'll try to respond to whatever I can at my earliest convenience. Either way, your support means a lot and I really appreciate it. I hope to see you all in the future. Bye-bye!